Hello children, welcome to English English with Kashish. Okay, so we are in our third language and we are doing a scene today from Shakuntala. You remember Saurabh and Rustam, how we did that story? Exactly like that, this is also a story of Shakuntala. So let's see a little pre-reading activity here. Uh, this tells us about the story, what the story is all about. Okay, so this is a scene, I am going to explain that to you first. So one day King Dushant went hunting, where did he go? To hunt, because at that time King used to go for hunting. He went down through a forest, obviously. He approached the ashram where a sage called Kanva lived. Who is a sage? A priest, a pandit. The sage had adopted Shakuntala and brought her up as if she was his own daughter. In Saurabh and Rustam, who was it? Do you remember? Tamina? Yes, so just like that, it's Shakuntala here. She was very, very pretty and beautiful. As soon as the king saw her, he fell in love with her and they were married in the forest according to Gandharv system of marriage. So they both got married. Who got married? King Dushyant and Shakuntala. Dushyant had to leave the forest and return to the city obviously. He came for hunting and he had to go back. He presented her a ring, a beautiful ring with precious stone before departing, before leaving and said that it would save her from any kind of trouble. Now one day the sage Durvasa, another sage came to the ashram. Shakuntala could not greet and re receive him as she was lost in the spell of love. Now obviously she was in love and she was maybe thinking of King Dushyant. So she did not greet sage Dusav. Durvasa properly. So he got angry. The sage became so upset that he cursed her. Due to the curse, Dushyant could not acknowledge that Shakuntala was his wife. And due to that, Dushyant could never say that this was his wife. What, that was the curse put on Shakuntala because she could not greet uh, sage Durvasa properly. And why didn't she greet? Because she was in love and she was thinking about him. To know how the power of the curse was this and Dushyant got back his memory of his marriage with Shakuntala read the play. Now what happened here was uh, in Dushyant's mind it erased that he was married to Shakuntala. Okay, And how did he remember it again? This is a play kind of a thing which will take us there. Let us see it. Okay, Come on. Let us read it together. So in the street before the palace, this is kind of drama. There is a palace here, there is a street outside. Enter the chief of police. Who enters? First, the chief of police. Behind him, two policemen and a man with his hands bound behind his back. And there is a man whose hands are tied behind the back. So, he is a thief or a burglar. They have caught him. The two policemen are holding him and the chief is coming. They are all coming towards the palace. Now, the two policemen say, striking at the man. Now, you pickpocket. Who is a pickpocket? A thief or a burglar. Tell us where you have found this ring. It is the king's ring with letters engraved on it. Engraved means carved. Can you see? These are called carves. And it has a magnificent gem. Now, the king had engraved his own initial on the ring and given to her, right? So, it obviously was king's and they all found him from the fish. This boy, they said, okay, pickpocket. Where did you find this ring from? Fisherman says, be merciful, forgive me, be little forgiveful. Kind gentlemen, I am not guilty of such a crime. What does guilty mean? It means having offended. I have not, not done this. I am not a criminal. Please show little bit of respect. You know, this is what fisherman said. So the first policeman, what he says, No, I suppose the king thought you were a pious Brahman and made you a present of it. So the fisherman says, Please, I am a fisherman and I live on the Ganges, that means river Ganga, at the spot where Indra came down. You remember Indra, she came down. I live there. I am a fisherman. I am a simple man. I do not do any uh, burglary. Second policeman says, you thief, we did not ask for your address or your social position. Am I talking to you? Am I asking you anything? No, I do not care what you do. So the chief says, let him tell a straight story to the king. So Chaka, don't interrupt. So what did the chief say? It's okay. Let him tell the story to the king. So Chaka is who? 
the chief uh, the policeman you don't interrupt so the two policemen says yes chief continue he still tells him to continue the fisherman says i support my family with things we catch with fish nets you know so what does he do uh, so uh, uh, with fish net there comes so many things right sometimes a shoe will come sometimes a box will come because so many times the ships are going and so many things fall so the fishermen whatever they get into the fish nets they uh, they sell with the fishes so he would have got that ring also in the fish net chief says laughing ha 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 you have a very sweet trade so the fisherman says don't say that master you can't give up trade of your ancestors give up trade means firstly the trade means business you can't give up business that means you can't stop give up is stop i don't give up being a good teacher right so that's my trade business like that you can say a butcher butcher is who who slaughters animals who cuts animals the chicken shop or the mutton shop you would have seen that is a butcher a butcher butchers animals and yet he is tender hearted yet he is tender hearted so because they said what a sweet trade you have he said all my ancestors have been doing this i also have been doing this i can't stop it uh, you have seen a chicken shop they cut chicken right but still they are good people by heart so that's what he is saying that's what he is meaning to say here chief says okay okay go on go on what do you want to say fisherman says well i was cutting up a carp a large edible fish carp is a big fish okay in its belly that means the tummy or a stomach i saw this ring with the magnificent gem so the fish has eaten the gem and then i was just trying to sell it here when you kind gentleman grabbed me grabbed me caught hold of me okay he was trying to sell that ring when these policemen came and caught him that is the truth now find fault with me and punish me now that is the truth i have told you i went fishing i got this big fish i was cutting the edible fish because i would sell the fish i found the ring and i was selling the ring and you policemen have come and caught me it's not my ring i found it in the sea so now whatever punishment you want to give me you can give me chief says smelling the ring there is no doubt about it januka it has been in a fish's belly because you can smell the rotten fish ka, you know in the, from the ring so the two gentlemen's name also the other one is januka okay it has a real smell of raw meat now we have to find out how he got it we must go to the palace we don't know how he's got it but it definitely smells of raw meat so the two policemen say to the fisherman move on pickpocket move on they still calling him pickpocket now chief says suchaka wait here at the big gate until i come out of the palace and don't run away so what do they tell him they tell them to wait till he goes the chief police police officer goes in inside to the king they tell all these gentlemen to wait outside the two policemen what do they say go in chief i hope the king will be nice to you chief says goodbye and he leaves this is like in a drama kind of a conversation so suchaka says who is suchaka the first policeman januka the chief is taking his time yeah so januka says you can't just drop in on a king right king will take time he is king he has to wait the chief police officer will have to wait for some time to talk to him so suchaka says januka my fingers are itching to kill this pickpocket yeah pointing to the fisherman i want to just kill him you know i mean i want to kill him what do i do so fisherman says don't kill a man without any reason master we still don't know if it's his fault or not so how can you kill someone who has done or done anything wrong so janukya says looking towards the gate there is the chief with a written order from the king so he sees a paper in in his hand no so he says see 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 there the king is he our chief is coming and he has a written order in his hand so the chief says quick 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 oh my god he is coming with that uh, hyper mode you know quick 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 and he breaks off fisherman says oh oh what about me that means they all are running away and they have left the fisherman behind and they have uh, just left him unattended chief says release him release the fellow it is all right he got the ring our king told me to himself he's got the ring to the king you can relieve him no problem 
he is free to go. So Chaka says, alright chief, this man has come back to life. He releases the fisherman. He says, wow, you got your life back. Otherwise, I would have killed you. So fisherman says, bowing low to the chief, master, I owe you my life. O means I will always be indebted to. That means I will always be thankful to you. He falls at his feet. He falls at his feet and he is very happy that he is released. The chief says, get up, get up. Here is a reward that the king was kind enough to give you. Okay, the king has given a gift for him. It is worth as much as the ring. Now the ring was so expensive and the king gave him a bracelet which was as expensive as the ring. Take it. He hands the fisherman a bracelet. So fisherman says equally talking about it, much obliged. I am so thankful. I am so happy that you are giving me this. And what happened there? What would have happened there? The king got his memory back. The, he was cursed that he will forget Shakuntala, right? So he got his memory back after seeing the ring. So he was very happy and that's why he gifted the bracelet. So Januka says, he is much obliged to the king. So Chaku says, chief, the reward, the gift or the prize shows that the king thought a lot about the ring. The gem must be worth something. Now, the, it was such an expensive bracelet. If the king has given such an expensive bracelet, must, ring must be something and the king must have thought something great about it. So, the chief says, no, it wasn't the fine gem that pleased the king. It was this way. The policeman says, when the king saw it, he remembered somebody he loves. Now, all that uh, memory came back flashback. Yes, so he remembered his love Shakuntala. You know how dignified he usually is, but as soon as he saw it, he broke down for a moment. All the kings are very, very strong. They don't like to cry or shed tears in front of uh, people. So everyone knew how dignified, strong king he was. But after seeing the ring, he actually broke down for a moment. He had tears in his eyes. That's how the ring affected the king. So Chaka says, you have done the king a good turn, chief. Januka says, all for the sake of this fisherman, it seems to me. So Suchaka is saying, chief, you did great to the king. No, he actually started crying also. So Januka says, all for this fisherman. Yes, he looks enviously at the fisherman. Now he is jealous and he is looking at the fisherman. The fisherman did such a great thing, right? The fisherman says, Take half of it, masters, to pay for something to drink. So Januka says, fisherman, you are the biggest and best friend I've got. The first thing we want is something to drink. Let's go where they sell it and they go. So the fisherman says, you can take half of it and buy something to drink. So uh, policemen say that you are my best friend now. Come on, let's go where we get something to drink and all of them exit. That's where the play ends and our Question answers start. So nice chapter, isn't it? You understood? Okay, let's do some question answers. Please open page number 85 of your book and do it with me. Okay, so who according to the two policemen did the ring belong to? According to the two policemen, the ring belonged to the king. Question two, what according to the policeman did the king think of the moment he got the ring? According to the policeman, the king thought about somebody he loved when he got the ring and that was none other than Shakuntala. Question 3. When did the policeman arrest the fisherman? The policeman arrested the fisherman when he was trying to sell the ring in the marketplace. How did the fisherman support his family? How do you think the fisherman supported his family? The fisherman supported his family with the trade of fishing and whatever they found in their fish net, they would to sell. Who is Januka? I mentioned, yes, Januka is one of the policemen. And who is the other one? Yes, Suchaka. What did the chief of the police bring from the king? The chief of the police bought a written order from the king. Question 7. What reward did the king give to the fisherman? The king gave the reward of a precious bracelet to the fisherman which was equivalent to the price of the ring. 
How did the chief confirm that the gem was in a fish's belly? What happened to him that he confirmed that? By smelling the ring. The chief confirmed that the ring was in a fish's belly because it smelled of raw meat. Why do you think the chief warns Suchaka not to be careless? The chief did not want fisherman Anne to run away because of the carelessness of Suchaka. Why did the king give a reward to the fisherman? Why did he give him a prize? The king gave a reward of bracelet to the fisherman because he remembered somebody he loved on looking at the ring. Okay? What made Suchaka think of killing the pickpocket? Suchaka thought that the fisherman had really stolen the ring and his fingers were itching to kill him. How did the fisherman get the ring? So one day the fisherman was cutting a carp, a big fish which you can eat. He found the ring in its belly. He thought to sell it and went to the street before the palace. While selling, he was grabbed by the policemen. They recognized the ring as king's ring and went before the chief. The chief took the ring, showed the ring to the king and in this way, the king got back his ring. Okay, so I have solved all the question answers. Very easy chapter. Take it as a story. Remember the characters and do it very well. So if you revise all these question answers just before your exam, you can easily attempt them. I have finished a scene from Shakuntala for you. This is the unit 8. I will see you soon with the next chapter. Bye-bye. Kashish.